Autodesk, the same company that gives us Tinkercad, now gives us Tinkerplay. It's based on the software that ran on a tablet or phone called Matio, where you could design little characters in 3D and then print them out. Well, I wanted to try it out, and I had this cartridge with about 7 meters of plastic left on it. Can't do a whole lot with 7 meters, but I think it's going to work perfect for this. So it's Filament Friday. Let's print something with Tinkerplay. So here's the Tinkerplay screen, and they got all kinds of characters that are pre-built, just tell you how to build it. Or you can build your own. So I made the Skeleton Man by attaching the head to the body and then the lower half. Now I did stubby arms and legs, so I just did two arms, two legs, no elbows, knees, attached the hands, and attached the feet. Now you can move him around to make him look how you want. So I moved the legs down and then the arms to a position that looks like he's standing. Then it was ready to output it as .stl files or 3D files. And I could send it right to my Dropbox account. So then from my iPad, I could transfer it to my computer. So it uploaded it to my Dropbox account. And then they showed up as 12 different .stl files. So then on my computer, on my Mac, I could download those .stl files into XYZWare. Now each one was individually loaded, but it allowed me to position them where I wanted. And once I had them set, I clicked on the export button, and then I set it to a 15% density, a 0.2 layer height. I actually did a fast print on this, because I really didn't want to wait around, and I didn't do any supports. So it started slicing, and this was the result. Everything looked good, just as I set it. And it said it was going to take just over an hour and 15 minutes. So hour and 16 minutes to print. Five and a half meters of plastic. So well within my seven. Here we go. So here's my finished skeleton man. He looks a lot like the picture. I had to use my finishing tool and some of the joints to clean up the edges and then I used 220 grit sandpaper to sand the joints. It snapped together really good. I only had like two joints where I saw just a little bit of splitting but other than that it went together fine. Hey check out the new shirt. I had a few of these made just for the videos and also for Maker Fair Detroit and I wanted to announce that. I will definitely be at Maker Fair Detroit. It's actually in Dearborn, Michigan at the Henry Ford. And I'll be inside in the nice air-conditioned Henry Ford Museum. I don't know where I'll be yet. They haven't told us our exact location and I probably won't find out until that weekend. It's the weekend of July 25th and 26th. So if you can make it, stop by my booth. I'd love to meet you guys. So this was a fun project and a great way to use up seven meters of plastic. I think this is a lot of fun and this is a great way to keep a kid occupied and you can make so many different characters and then snap the different pieces together. It can really be a lot of fun. I could have printed this on the Da Vinci Junior but I wanted to use that plastic up. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like my channel please subscribe that way I know you're watching and if you really want to support Filament Friday and this channel please consider donating to my Patreon account at the link up here. I've got some awesome Patreon supporters and they've really helped out to help buy more plastic. I really, really appreciate it. Even $1 a month helps. Anyway, enough of a pitch. I hope you enjoyed this. That's all I got for now. I'll see you next time.